Let's get more now from Washington, D.C. We can bring in Steve Monisteri. He's the senior advisor to RNC chairman Rensep Priebus. Very good to have you with us. What do you make of the figures coming in? At this stage, I believe, no surprises. Well, there's a huge surprise in Virginia. Uh, everybody had written off Virginia for the Republicans. That's 13 electoral votes, so that's a swing of 26. And then you have states in the Rust Belt, such as Ohio, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania are all in play, especially Michigan and Wisconsin. No one gave Donald Trump much of a chance. So now with winning Virginia, which is 13 electoral votes, there are now multiple paths for Donald Trump to win the presidency. And I'll just make one final point. Mm. About a week or two ago, people were predicting a Clinton landslide. They didn't even think Donald Trump would be competitive. What is clear is that this is a very competitive race, and no one will know who the winner is until the late evening, perhaps even tomorrow. And will he, do you know, dispute this if he were to lose? As you say, it's very close. Does that make, him, make it harder for him to accept a loss if it does play out that way? Well, right now, let me point out he's ahead in the Electoral College. He has more electoral votes than Hillary Clinton. So when you look at the map now, there are more Democratic states in play than Republican states. So really the question should be, will Hillary Clinton accept the results if Donald Trump wins? But if Hillary Clinton was to win, but she only wins, say, by a couple electoral votes, and if Nevada is close, there's already been a lawsuit filed in Nevada because Nevada kept polls open past the deadline. So you certainly could have a contested election, uh, but I'm hoping that Donald Trump gets a clear win tonight and that Hillary Clinton does not contest it. Talk us through him filing an early lawsuit claiming that early voting polls were allowed to stay open longer than allowed. Why did he do that? Because people were violating the election law. Uh, the law is that That's if you're in been line disputed. by... No, but let me finish. The, the election law is that if you're in line by closing time, you can stay in line. But I read uh, interviews with the local clerks that said that when new people came up after the deadline, if there was still a line, they let them be added to the line. Uh, th that is illegal. You cannot do that. Once it's 7 o'clock or whatever the cutoff is, you're supposed to have a marker and no one else is supposed to join the line. So uh, that's the basis of the challenge. And on the surface, it appears to be a legitimate challenge. What we've been watching in the lead up to the voting taking place and tonight is the, the anger people have had over these elections, the anger in both contestants and the anger in the Republican Party that some people within the Republican Party are refusing to vote for him. They don't like what he said. How are you going to heal the divisions in the Republican Party after these elections? Well, I, let me just dispute that. And I'm the former three-time chairman of the largest Republican state party, the Texas Party. Uh, and I was a member of the Republican National Committee for five of the last six years. I, I'll just point out that Donald Trump is doing better than Mitt Romney. He's getting more votes, more states. He's doing better than John McCain. He may actually win the election, uh, something we haven't done outside of a Bush family uh, since Ronald Reagan. I mean, some so people are talking about win, a split for... in the Republican Party because of the divisions, the polarization, because of what he's been saying. Yeah, but hold on a second. If, we, if those were real divisions, if they were significant divisions, he wouldn't be winning all these states. My point is, people didn't say there were divisions with Mitt Romney or John McCain, and Donald Trump is getting a higher percentage of the vote than our last two nominees. He's winning more states than the last two nominees, so that means he's getting more Republican votes than the last uh, two nominees. Uh, I've been active in the Republican Party since 1972. That was the first election I worked in. I can tell you parties always fight. And the Democrats had a huge division between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. And I would suggest to you that one of the reasons Hillary Clinton is not doing so well is because many of the Sanders supporters refuse to support her. Tell me why you think he is so popular. People talk about divisions. People were shocked at some of the racist comments, the comments against women, comments against Muslims. Why is he... Why is he so popular with so many people within the Republican Party? What resonates there? Well, is well, it the strong man well, for, first, attitude? Well, f well, first I dispute your premise. You say he's against Muslims. He never said he was against Muslims. He just said he wanted to make sure we screen people uh, from... 
No, he said he wanted to screen people from places in which there is terrorist activity. That's different than saying you're against Muslims. And I, I could go down the list, but, but, but rather than do that, I will just tell you the reason why he's so popular is the polls have shown for a very long time that roughly seven out of ten Americans believe the country is going in the wrong direction. That means seven out of ten of Americans, Democrat, Republican, Independent, want to see a change. And they're tired of politics as usual. They're tired of politicians. And he's an outsider. He's not a politician. The appeal for Donald Tr Trump is to have real change and not just to go along with the status quo. But in the process, he was taking out fat woman, an attractive woman, uh, a reporter who had a physical disability. What sort of message is that? Well, if you've been in politics for any time, uh, you know they can be rough and tumble. Uh, so you're you, saying it's you, acceptable it used to because be he's a politician? No. No, I'm just saying that sometimes it gets rough and tumble. And people usually uh, vote on the major issues and the direction of the country. Uh, he's not a perfect candidate, but Hillary Clinton is a far less perfect candidate. Uh, we've been saying that as a party for since he got the nomination. Mm -hmm. Uh, the media has said he wouldn't be competitive, that a majority of Americans wouldn't be for him. They predicted a Hillary Clinton landslide. And what, what has happened is that the results show that the Republican Party was correct and, and not the pundits. Very positive. Steve Ministeri there. Thank you very much for talking to us on Al Jazeera.